Good evening, everybody. Evening. And on a very, very beautiful evening as well, must I add. Hence the sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Sun's literally just there and we can't see a thing. Yeah, we won't be eating in these, don't worry. <laughs> so in today's video, we are bringing you along to the Beach House, which is one of P&O Britannia's speciality restaurants on board the ship. Yeah, it's. Uh, they describe it as Southern American and Caribbean kind of comfort food. Now, it's a specialty restaurant, but you have to book. The best way to book is as soon as you get on the ship. If you know you want to do it, especially like our ship at the moment is full. And yes. we're eating on the third night now, mm -hmm. and it's sold out for the rest of the week. So it can be a bit misleading because a couple of weeks before we came on the cruise, we were able to log on to like my P&O and stuff, and there was a section for dining where it says, click here if you want to book dining speciality restaurants and when we clicked on it it actually said to inquire on board so i don't know if that's the case all the time but i know we couldn't pre-book before the no, cruise so just so, book yes. it on the the P&O my holiday page what you book you all your other restaurants and your entertainment for just book it on there as soon as you get on and then it's booked then but we just want to bring you along, show you what's on the menu, how much you could be expected to pay if you choose to dine there yourselves, because like we say, it is an optional extra. Yeah. So I'm hungry. She's this always sun hungry. Is I'm blinding. always hungry. Yes. <laughs> Let's head to the beach house. Right, so we have had a bit of trouble finding this. It's not on any of the information maps. It's at deck 16, right at the back. There's the sunset bar if you go that way. The buffet's that way. Here's the beach house. Now, this is the back of the buffet that is shut at night. That is the beach house. So we have had trouble finding this. Yeah, it's not on any of the signs in the lifts or anything like that. I did say to Kev, is that because it's a hidden gem? or it's a load of rubbish well we'll soon find out hopefully it's because it's a hidden gem right so we've just been told that uh, there's a £9.50 cover charge and then anything like the panko and phyllo straw tiger prawns they are another £1.75 on top of your £9.50 cover charge but I'm liking the look of this menu it's looking very good I've seen the speciality hanging kebabs they're sounding very very nice I know that a few of you have said if you go to the beach house on the Britannia try the hanging kebab so it, it is, it's a strong possibility but I've not thoroughly looked at the menu No, yet. we've literally just sat down <laughs> so we have just asked because we weren't sure how it worked it is basically a free course meal you get one starter each one main and one dessert for your £9.50 cover charge unless you select anything that's got a price next to it and you pay that on top of your £9.50 but yeah. Kev didn't ask how did it work. Kev went, so can you just order as much as you want on here? Can I have six stars, the please? The answer's no. <laughs> so they've just come with waters and they've also brought these little Spanishy deep fried corn things that sound like you're breaking the tooth. Yeah, but we all know now that they give you these because they make you thirsty so that you order more drinks. But then I suppose if you're on the drinks package then yeah, it doesn't matter. as many as you like, yeah. So we've ordered. Now it's very thirsty work to consume all this food. So we have water, one large diet Pepsi, and seeing as P&O is a British cruise ship, we've gone for a alderflower. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Bring on that hanging kebab. Starters first. Starters first, Starters first. yeah. First. I'm getting ahead of myself for you. It's been like 10 minutes now. Uh, we're yeah. still waiting, not moaning, just saying. No, no, and just we keep, chilly. we keep seeing everybody else's food come out. Oh my God, I've just seen that guy over there. He's got the ribs and he's literally just pulled the bone out. It's, it's like, look what you could have had. But we think, we've, we think we've made a good choice. We'll let you know when it's here. Was anyone else, like, stare at everybody else's, but when, like, it's your own and people are looking, you're like, can I, I like, iron up my steak? And Honestly, we're doing it to everybody else. Them ribs look nice. I know. And the potato skins look nice. I know, them onion rings look nice. Everything mm. looks nice. So the starters have come. Look at these. So we've got crispy bacon and cheese potato skins there. That comes with a, a Cajun dip. And then we've got, oh, look at those. So these are panko and phyllo pastry tiger prawns with a uh, coconut pineapple salsa. 
they look delicious. So the potato skins was no extra charge for them, and then the prawns were one seventy five extra to pay. Yes, on top so, of the nine pound fifty cup of charge. Yeah. So even though we have it like a starter each, a main each, a dessert, we're gonna share. We're just gonna share everything. Yeah. yeah so we're gonna do that now. So I'll try the prawns now. So there was four prawns, so two each. That's the panko one. And then that's, it says phyllo straw. It looks more like a tempura kind of batter on there, but it comes with this pineapple relish. It smells really nice. Oh, I'll try this one first. Mmm. Oh, that prawn's really nice. It's not overcooked. It's nice and juicy. Yeah, I'd say it was more of a tempura batter. That's not phyllo straw, but it's still delicious. And then I do like a panko breadcrumb. That's the one. Is that, the, is that your favourite? Mm, because it's so crunchy. That's all right. I love a crunchy prawn. And that salsa's really nice as well. It's not spicy. Can you tell like really nice fresh prawns? Yeah, yeah, yeah not like juicy. rubbery. No, no, they're not overcooked. They've got like a nice, uh, just a nice snack to them. Right, so these potato skins look absolutely delicious. It's a really, really thick potato. And then they've not like hollowed it out. Yeah. And then on top, they've got like a cheesy mash. Now the only gripe is, I'd say, a little bit more bacon, but hey ho, I'm gonna try it now. It's got like the crispy potato skin and then like this, like the potato and then like the soft creaminess on top. That's really nice, but like I said, yeah, a bit more. That was the only bacon that I had on one of them. So yeah, I'm gonna make the most of it, but maybe a little bit more bacon, but other than that, delicious. All right, so today we're polished off very easily delicious and uh, the waiter's just been explaining really nice guy uh, just explaining because we ordered the fillet steak on the salt lava rock the lava, lava rock, rock. Yes. Uh, he says it comes like it's only been cooked for 30 seconds on each side and then you can kind of cut, cut it, it and it cook, and cook it. it yourself a little bit yeah yeah so it's it's good that he explained that because we would have cut, cut into it and gone uh still raw this <laughs> it's still moving yeah. it's come this is cooking right now on a lava rock. I mean, oh. We have not edited sound effects over that. That is that steak sizzling away. <laughs> and then let me just pull back a little bit. This is our tiger prawn, monkfish, and lobster hanging kebab. And what's that there? There's some squid at the bottom some as well squid. there. Right, okay. And some rice and bits. Now we are sharing this, so we're gonna try and tuck into this he did offer to do this for us but we said no we want to get bits and both of these were again a extra charge we'll just pop it on the screen how much it was extra for I those i think this was 5.95 and so the steak was 3.95 and that's the eight that's ounce right. there was a six, six ounce for a pound less so we thought may as well add the eight ounce so yeah he did say that you like slice the steak and then cook it on this rock as you go so we'll attempt to do that in a minute. I'm gonna lay it, sizzle up and then gonna try and get some stuff off this kebab somehow. Just like, do we just go in there with his mouth? Yeah, we might as well, like, aren't we? Off you go from the top and I'll go from the bottom. <laughs> yeah, both of us gnawing at it. So like Lady in the Tramp. I've just turned this steak over. The crust on top of that looks amazing. So we're gonna try and cut a bit of this. And then, so yeah, it's very rare in the middle still. And then this is what he said, so slice a bit off and then cook it to your liking. Ooh. So what I'm gonna keep doing is just, if Stacy points over to the steak, I'm gonna cut it and then I'm just gonna do this and let that bit cook while we eat a bit. <laughs> so to save a little bit of time, but I'm gonna try a bit. So you thought this out, aren't you? I have. So this was the eight ounce fillet. Is that good? Is that bad? That's amazing. <laughs> that crust on the top's delicious. And it's not overcooked at all. Literally, I sliced it off and I put it on for about 15 seconds. And it cooks, look. That's real time. That, that's cooked already and, and the crust is delicious. They come with some sauces, but I'm not gonna tarnish it with any sauce. I've just had a piece that is absolutely amazing. I stick it in. Where's it gone? It melts on the tongue. It's like oh, butter. That's so, yeah, that is so nice. I love a good steak. As you know by now, if you've watched our other videos. 
we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. <laughs> so this was a look at that prawn. Oh, sorry Stace, I'm going in. Oh, it's garlic -y. Oh, has he got garlic mm. on? Oh, even better. It's like a little garlic -y lobster sent from heaven. That's not a prawn. Tastes like a lovely, lovely piece of lobster. There is lobster on here, but this is a prawn because it's got a tail. Gorgeous. Now I've got the actual lobster. Like Kev said, it has come with sauces, but you don't want to tarnish it, no, do you? Especially for that like first bite. Wait till you get that garlic. Smells so light fresh. That is so, so nice. It's so fresh, like it's so juicy. Oh, you'll love that. I, I, I love the prawn, so I know I love the lobster. That's got, yeah, it's got like garlic -y oil or something on it as well. Mm. It's, I think the whole thing is just yeah. probably dripping in garlic. Oh, that's absolutely nice. Not overpowering garlic though. No, it's like a nice still, hint to it. Like, yeah, I can still taste the prawn. Yeah, it's really nice, really fishy. That was so nice. Right, so I'm just going to cut into the mug fish now. Surprisingly, I've never had it before. I've, I've had it before, but I've just tried this and it's really nice. I Ooh. It's uh, got a bit of a different, like, not just, it might be like garlic and chilli. It's a very, very meaty fish. Mm, it's a meaty white fish, yeah. Yeah, a bit like cod. Yeah. You say, yeah, it's got like spices on it. But yeah, like say, oh, I like long fish and I've never had it before. Yeah. I'll just mention that this rice was very nice. It was like a spicy rice with uh, kidney beans in. This green beans and carrots, are green beans and carrots. So, do you think we enjoyed that? Yeah, I'll let that speak for themselves. The pudding's are here. Now, we'll, we will explain in a second why there's an extra one. So I've had the key lime pie sundae, because I fancied Summit Light originally. So it's like a key lime sun, uh, sorbet. I think there was lemon curd and some crumbs there. Then, ignore this one for a second. <laughs> Stacey's ordered the, what did you have? Triple chocolate cake with vanilla ice cream. That's massive, because it's chocolate cake. I do like a fudge cake, but it's really sickly as well. Yeah, it? that's why like praline sauce on or something like that as well. You'll have to eat some of this with me, Kev. Well, in a minute. It's massive. And then because we've been speaking to the waiter, he's been really nice. He's from the Philippines and we've been talking about Filipino <laughs> food and jolly bee and all <laughs> and that life. kind of thing and life. And he brought us an extra pudding, so he's brought us the, I think, was this the candy shop cheesecake? Yes. With an Oreo on top, which Stacey will be nicking because she loves Oreos now. I used to always get the Oreos. Now again, I think these were no extra charge. There, there was two with an extra charge. One was a fondue for two people to share, a chocolate fondue, that yes, was four pounds. Yeah. And then I cannot remember the other one off the top of my head. Oh, I can. I think it was a banana daiquiri split or something yes, like that. I thought yeah, coconut that rum was on it. it. That was right, yeah. Yeah, and that was maybe one pound-ish. I'll put, it's on the menu. <laughs> I'm just looking at this like, it's not a good idea. I'll eat it. Here goes. I'll take one for the tea. Is it nice? It's like chocolate, so like soft and creamy. Is, is it a nice soft sponge? Yes, yeah, it's not dry or anything like that. Because obviously it's got the ice cream with it as well, but you don't need the ice cream. The sponge is nice and soft. Well, you don't need the ice cream when you've got a, an extra piece of cheesecake. Yes, me, I'm taking one for the tea. Pull me and I'm like going in with another bit. I hope you guys just feel so sorry for me. It's a shame, isn't it? Enough of Stacey's fudge cake. Mine's melting. So I'm going to just take one big. Ooh. I bet yours is refreshing. Yeah, that's why I add it. Yeah, so like I say, it's, it's like a lemon, a key lime sorbet and crumbs. Oh, it's tart. Oh, it's nice and refreshing after a steak. <laughs> but, oh, go on. I'll just try this for, for you. Mm. Is it a nice cheesecake? It's a very light cream cheese. It's not a thick, dense, heavy cream cheese. It's not got a thick bottom either, which I always say I eat on a cheesecake no. when it's dead biscuity. Oh, that cheesecake's actually quite nice. I am so glad we are docked up in Rotterdam tonight so the ship isn't setting sail because if that hits some big waves, wow. I'm not quite sure it would have been quite pleasant. Finished. Somebody's buckled at the last little bit. I've done well, not left that much. You buckled. Okay. 
add a little bit of cheesecake. Kev probably off the cheesecake but, uh, yeah, but key lime. Key lime's sorbet. He's basically sorbet. It was frozen juice. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, obviously we're all done because we're back on the balcony. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely full. <laughs> uh, just to quickly mention, he did say that they have like a, a two menu system. Yeah. So like he said, this week will be menu A, which is what we had. And he said, the second week will be menu uh, B. I will put that on the screen mm -hmm. now. It's pretty much the same. The starters are a bit different and some of the mains are a bit different. You still get the sizzling steak and the hanging yeah. kebabs and the ribs. So all the good stuff. And I think the desserts were exactly the same on both. Desserts were the same the as well. So, so yeah. Yeah, there was a few differences, but absolutely we highly highly recommend just amazing food yes so like i said when we were having the starters i said that we could do with a bit more bacon on my potato skin but i was gonna say is that enough to say oh my goodness it's ruined the whole experience no if it was i'd want to slap myself in the face and tell me get alive so no get alive. <laughs> yeah no it was absolutely <laughs> yeah it was absolutely incredible fantastic service yep. um we were in there about three hours. Not, because not far the, off, yeah, yeah. Not because the service, we were talking to the waiter as well. And that wasn't because the service was slow. But they just, they don't rush you at all. It's your table for the night. And you go as quick as you want. It, you'll, you know, you'll come over and if you're ready to order your mains and your desserts, yeah. or they'll gladly wait for you if yeah. you want to wait a bit longer. But yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I really enjoyed and recommend it. So just quickly run over the price. It was £9.50 cover charge, like we said. Mm -hmm. We had uh, the prawns, which we paid extra for, the steak, which we paid extra for, and the hanging kebab, which we paid extra for. Yeah. So the free courses with the extra payments come to £30.65p, not including drinks. No. So, no. bargain. When you think an eight ounce fill it would probably cost you close to £30 alone. Exactly, yeah. And if you've already got the drinks package and you know, there was plenty of options on the menu where you didn't have to pay an extra charge. No. It was included in the 950 that yes. you'd um, already paid. So, you know, I mean, that's a bargain for 30 pounds, but you could, could have it even less as well if you wanted. So. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. But we are very full. So full, yeah. So <laughs> Ready for a lie down. we hope you enjoyed us mm -hmm. stuffing our faces for your entertainment, <laughs> hopefully. Leave us a comment. Have you ever been to the beach house? Or have you been on any of the other ships and been to similar like restaurants, maybe the Olive Grove on the Iona? I think the Beach House is on a few more of the p and ones. Have I'm pretty sure, let us know in the comments yes. below. I, I'm just pretty sure I've read it on. Right. I know a few of them, like the Epicurean and things, are on different p and yes. ships. So let us know if the Beach House is one of them. And was it as nice on there as I was looked? Yes, because if it is, we'll be going on that ship as well. <laughs> yes, not, not now, but I'm still full. We are also trying the Glass House speciality yes. restaurant, so stay tuned for that because mm -hmm. it's certainly going to have a lot to live up to. A lot to live up to, <laughs> but I'm ready to go for a, I think a power nap. Me too. <laughs> so we're going to love you and leave you. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave us a like, leave us a comment, and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. And thanks very much for watching. Let's go lie down. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.